I think we've been on this chapter long enough, so let's wrap up here. Oops. Surely we can... Well, hit rate is not the best. That's a little better. Thank you. Now, this occult, this is how you get mastery skills, but you need to be class changed in order to even use them. So it works just like a, like a regular skill scroll would in the manage skills menu. But yeah, you gotta be class changed in order to use it. Anyway, this last item is an energy drop. That's plus two strength. Down goes the boss. Cursed crows, you ruined all my plans. And we get his longbow. Now, with all the treasure taken, um, yeah, if all the chests are open, then these ravens will just leave. But let's try to get at least one more, uh, yeah, one more helping of XP, shall we? Okay, now Oscar's the one who's a little too strong here. Ten. If I crit, I'm good, but then... I could always miss with the lance attack. I don't want to chance it, though. Fourteen, fifteen. Wait, what am I doing? I have Gatry right here, so... If I miss with this, I'm going to be really embarrassed. There's a coin. You shall not escape. There we go. And that's why they call him Guy on a Horse, man. There we go. Chapter's done early. Finally, there they are. I hope we'll find Pemper Sonicky safe and sound. Ladies, charge! Show them what we've got! I saw this coming, of course. You know, if they just paid me more, I'd have been willing to lend a hand. Oh well, but a few human lives matter to us. They're none of our concern. We're done here. Let's go. Yes, sir. That's it. Looks like the dust is finally starting to settle. Looks like those crows took flight as soon as the Holy Guard arrived. The other assailants fled, too. Then our job here is done. Crows are one thing. What were those men doing with them? Yes, I thought that was odd, too. They looked like pirates, but they certainly didn't act like them. True, but they weren't interested in treasure, and their soldiers definitely were trained fighters. But who were they? Which country did they serve? Was this an attempt on the Apostle's life? It's possible. The Apostle is the symbol of Benyon Empire itself. The Apostle is its Empress. If she were to perish, it's fair to say Benyon itself would perish as well. I see. The Apostle's missing? What do you mean? That voice. Something must have happened. Let's go find out. Ugh, this business is becoming quite the headache. I'm sorry, ma'am. If I can offer my life in repentance for... Oh, stop it. If you want to repent, go do something useful and go find that apostle. Yes, ma'am. Did I hear correctly? Is the apostle missing again? Oh, you're that mercenary. My men guarded the cabin entrance. As far as I know, we kept it safe from the enemy. From what I've been told, the apostle slipped out of the cabin on her own in the chaos. On her own? Now, why would anyone call the apostle to do something as stupid as that? I, Ike, watch your words. You're being rude. 
It's all right, Dame Knight. I have more important matters on my mind. I hate to ask, would I be able to enlist in your help in searching for the Apostle? Of course. You don't mind helping, do you, Ike? Nah. We'll search the enemy ship. Would you search your ship just to be sure? I would appreciate it. I'll do what I can to find her, but I don't even know who I'm looking for. I think it's safe to assume she'll be a woman of stature, a noble woman of some sort. Huh. Well, I suppose all I have to do is keep my eyes peeled for any stowaway, anyone I don't know. Let's split up. It'll go faster if we search separately. Mist and I will check this side. Then Sword and I will search the rest of the ship. Sorn, about what I said this morning. Yes? About the way you phrase things. I... I ought to apologize for that. No, don't apologize. I know you. I know it's been bothering you, hasn't it? No. Well... Don't take it personally. I'm no better, you know. Your ability to speak plainly the things others won't is part of what makes you brilliant. Others are too bound by courtesy. With you, I trust that what you say is exactly what you think. Well, yes. Thank you, Ike. Now, about that missing apostle. Oh! You found her? No, I don't think so. But there's a child stowing away in here. What? What is a child doing hiding on our ship? She must be some aristocrat's daughter. Probably slipped on from the Benyon ship. It was a hectic battle. She must be frightened and hid herself here in the confusion. Are you going to help her? Well, we can't just leave her. Hey, are you alright? I'm fine. Hey, don't be scared. Uh, who might you be? You don't look like Lagoos. Perhaps a new recruit? No, I'm a mercenary. I was hired by Princess Alincia. The Queen Princess? Ow. What's wrong? Oh, you hurt your foot. Let me see. Hold! Do not approach me! Hey, I told you to... Ow! You're hurting me, you fool! Oh, well, looks like the bone's not broken. Still, we better have Miss take a look at it just in case. Uh, what? What are you doing? Just hush up and hold on to me. There's my sister. She can heal that foot of yours right up. Are you trying to help me? Shouldn't you be elsewhere? Uh, I'm supposed to be looking for some sort of apostle person. But I think there are enough other people looking around. And I'd rather help the injured first. Huh. I see. This is indeed. Hmm? What is it? No, nothing. In that case, I accept your help. I any luck finding the apostle? Nope. All I found was a little lost child. Hey, she's quite a cutie. Miss, do you think you could use her staff to heal this kid? Yeah. Is she hurt? Just her foot. Maybe she bumped her head, too. She's been mumbling complete gibberish since I picked her up. I kept silent blaming these antics of your ignorance, but I can no longer tolerate your manners. Huh? What's, go what's wrong? It's your foot, isn't it? Prepare yourselves, peasants! Prepare? For what? You stand in the presence of Sonaki, Empress of Benyon. I am the Apostle, the voice of the Goddess. Empress? What did she say? What? What? And she is... Oh no, is she really? No, she can't be. No way. Hold your judgment. Even if she's lying, there must be a reason. You ignorant! Are you alright, Empress? My apologies. We were unable to reach you. We left you in terrible peril. I accept full responsibility. You late, Sigrun! What would you have done had something happened to me? Please, Empress, I beg your forgiveness. That won't be necessary. I am also partly to blame for what happened. Let's focus and stand on our rescuers. As a reward for rescuing me, I would like to invite them to visit our court. And be sure that the one they serve, that girl who claims to be the Princess of Crimea, is invited as well. Princess Alincia's bodyguards, I presume. I'm sorry for the trouble you've gone to. And you are? I beg your pardon. My name is Sigrun. I am commander of Benyon's Valley Guard. No words to thanks we will ever repay you for saving the Empress. Wait, so it's true? Are you saying that little child is Benyon's... Empress? Hmm, it appears so. I can't say I quite believe it, but she seems sincere. Besides, how many people do you know who command a legion of Pegasus Knights? The Empress has invited us to join her at Sien, the capital of Benyon. I think we should go. Where is the Princess? We should ask her permission before agreeing. She must be in the cabin. I'll take you to her. Oh, never mind. There is no BXP to gain because that was a defense mission. Of course. Silly me. The Benyon Empire, the largest nation on the continent, is a theocracy dedicated to the goddess Asherah. Reigning from the summit of the empire and guiding the world with the voice of the goddess, the Apostle Sonaki rules Benyon. As Asherah's chosen vessel, the Apostle is showered with love and respect from the entire nation. Seven Imperial Senators aid the Apostle in the governance for her realm. 
This system of government has been the backbone of Benyon for many long centuries. After Ike and his company aid the Apostle, her holy guard takes them to the imperial capital, Sien. The upper class of Benyon society live lives of pampered comfort and luxury. Known as the Sainted, these elite power brokers reside in massive, temple-like homes whose spires dominate the skyline. The guiding tower overlooks all from the heart of the city. Here, Ashra holds her vigil, watching over the world. Surrounding the tower is a series of temples, both large and small, placed in an orderly, systematic fashion. One temple, however, is conspicuously larger than the others. It is the Grand Temple Mainal, home to the home to the Apostle. Or is it Mainal? <laughs> Whichever. Ike and his company, used to the freedoms of, Kri of Crimea, find the differences in culture and custom to be very confusing. Chapter 14, Training. Crimea's King Ramon, Princess Valencia Rydell Crimea, correct? Yes. I have heard stories that King Crimea had a daughter in secret, but men have reported this much to me in the past. However, I think about that princess or not is another tale. Do you have nothing that would lend credence to your claims? Nothing at all. It took all my energy simply to avoid capture by Bank by day, and I had no time to secure any proof of my claim. <laughs> and with Crown Prince Brady also dead, there is no one who even knows your face. What am I to do? I will vouch for her. My Lord Ike, I have no doubt that Princess Lincia is the true heir to the throne of Crimea. Oh, really? And tell me, what gives you this strength of conviction? If we believe her story, this woman has not engaged the outside world since the day she was born. So how is that you, a lowly mercenary, dare to assert her authenticity? The Dane already pursues her with bloody mind, with bloody mind determination. At every turn, they demand that we turn Princess Lincia over to them. What further proof do you need? Hmm. If someone of proper standing made that pronouncement, I would accept it as irrefutable proof. But you, you're a commoner. You have no surname, no documented lineage, you have nothing. I know commoners, they are poor. For a price, they will support any line, no matter how outlandish. Oh, now, I suppose you would tell me you're the son of some noble house? No, of course not. But wait, perhaps you're a royal knight of Crimea. I'm neither a noble nor a knight. I have no connection with the palace whatsoever. And no matter how much gold I stood to gain, I would not betray my convictions. Valencia has paid us, yes, but nothing more than a standard fee to purchase our services as her escort. Nothing more. We have come this far only because we believe Valencia to be a woman of integrity. We will not sell our swords to a liar. I don't care how high and mighty you might be. I will not stand here and let you mock the bond of trust that ties us to Valencia. My lord Ike. How dare you! Who are you to address the Apostle so crudely? Gods! Gods! Seize this man! Who has abused the Apostle, the penalty can only be death. Halt! <laughs> Seferin was right about you. You are very interesting. Apostle? Seferin? That monk we rescued from the prisons? A bonk, was it? His disguises are always so clever, he never ceases to amaze me. As always, he remains an enigma. Heed my words, Sephiroth is in truth two verses, bribing Prime Minister Abinyan and my most trusted advisor. He has been traveling the neighboring lands for months, trying to ascertain the condition of the people there. We have received detailed reports on Princess Silencia and the mercenary company serving as her escort. So, you knew we were coming. You knew who we were all along. Yes. Testing you. You see, life here in the palace is dreadfully dull, and I'm always so very bored. Thanks to the princess, but raising the little escort, this interrogation proved to be an amusing diversion. <laughs> so that's what this was. How very like you, Apostle. A cutting game of witch and words, simply smashing. Even your most loyal servant, Duke Oliver of Tannis, was on the verge of being completely fooled. I am humbled. <laughs> Come, Duke Kane. <clears throat> it was all a ruse, was it? Oh, Apostle, you do tease us so mercilessly. Still, it was not such a bad way to amuse ourselves, was it, Duke Hetzel? Oh, too true, my good Duke. Princess Crimea, it appears that you have put quite a smile on the face of our beloved Apostle. What an honor that must be. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, I, yes, I suppose so. Madness! Oh, yes, I almost forgot all fun. Sephiroth has already vouched for your identity as the true Princess of Crimea. I require no further proof. You may rest easy. I am most grateful. Wait a minute! Yes? What is the meaning of this? You know Alicia was Princess Crimea? And you continue to humiliate her for your own entertainment? For some stupid game of wits and words? This is no joke! Alicia's homeland is lost to her! Her family's been hunted down and killed by the monsters of Dayan! 
and with nowhere else to turn, she endures mortal danger and terrible heartbreak to reach your door. And then you, you laugh at her? Where is the human in that? Where is your decency? You're horrible. You are all horrid people. You disgust me beyond words. And you owe Lincia a proper apology. My, my Lord Ike, please. Rich present, you loose that treacherous, treacherous tongue once more and... Do we can restrain yourself? But, but... I am speaking. Be still. Ugh. Now then, Ike, I fully understand your feelings. Your passion for your employer is truly a beautiful thing. But that my... <laughs> my own fawning vassal showed your, that, your commitment. However, truth be told, your behavior does test my patience. Raise your voice once more to me, and you will seriously damage the princess's already precarious position. Do you understand? Not really. Why don't you fill me in? Even if Valencia is truly crime and royalty, she is at best heir to a dead country, nothing more. Without Benyard's support, Valencia's claim holds no meaning. Am I mistaken? <laughs> Even if we have a fragile feeling, to the sake of her country's future, she must stand by and say nothing. In fact, she is in no position to do anything but beg for Benyard's favor. Well, how did you notice? I have much to consider. For you, I shall take my leave of you. I will meet with my senators soon and discuss this state of affairs. Coyne's future will not be uncertain for long. Until that time, I suggest you let your rest and relax. Perhaps you could try your hand in our court of the games of written words. What incredible nerve to take, to take advantage of our situation and speak down to us like that. I don't care if she's the Empress or the Apostle or whatever. I can't stand her. Listen, Ike. Isn't it possible that the Apostle saved you? What? Titania is correct. Benyon is a nation ruled by time order custom and ancient conventions. You insulted the Apostle, the very symbol in Larueya life. The fact that you are still breathing is a miracle. I hadn't realized. And as her escort, your criminal behavior will fall directly on your employer, Princess Alincia. If you had truly angered the Apostle, any hope restoring Crimea would have vanished like a puff of smoke. That's madness! They would sacrifice a whole country to satisfy their own egos? Ike, this may not be much of an answer, but letting madness rule the day is the prerogative of nobility. <coughs> Excuse me. The Bayark divide themselves into classes, and with classes come prejudice. From the moment of our birth to our final dying gasp, we commoners know we are not allowed to defy the upper classes. Princess Lincia, I... I'm sorry. My ignorance does not excuse my stupidity. I am truly am sorry. No, I... What you said, you said in my defense and in my honor, it made me very pleased. Huh? To see you so angry on my behalf, your words filled my heart. I wasn't as noble as you make it sound. However, there is one point that I would contest. It is true that I have lost my family and my home. But I did have people to turn to, people to rely on. My Lord Ike, you and your company were at my side. For me, this has been a great source of inspiration and of happiness. Princess Lycia. My Lord Ike, please, call me Alincia. Huh? That would be improper, wouldn't it? I mean, you're our employer and... You called me so earlier. I did? Really? You didn't notice? No, I... Oh, my apologies. I'll be more careful. Well, I suppose we should go. They prepared rooms for us. Oh, my Lord Ike. Some of our last battle. Notice it didn't list Gatry as a new ally because he technically was an ally once before. Alright, well, let's take a look at everything here. Psst, you wanna hear something? There's a rumor going around that a tiger subhuman has been seen on the foggy banks of this very river. Oh, what? You don't seem surprised. Alright then, how about this? That subhuman? They say it's always in beast form. It can't change back. Rather than right fighting, ain't it? The only way for us for humans to, set to fight some savages is to wait for them to change out of beast form. I mean, we can kill them if, we, if, we don't, if they won't change. Still no reaction, eh? What a bore. That was about you to use muscle then. I was saving it, I was, but... I and my darling in the army, the tigers, cats, and other four-legged subhumans hate fire magic. That's a useful tip, ain't it? Oh, I, I know things. You there, serving wench. It's not loose work to be done. Why are you wasting your time chaptering on? But, oh, what's wrong? Just saying hello to one of the new servants is all. You fool, this is no servant. Eh? Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, crikey. Princess Crimea's escort? A guest of the apostle? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, my gosh. Please, please forgive me. What should I do? Oh, he looked right angry, he did. I might get sacked. Well, if it isn't Ike, out for a walk, Commander. Hello, Gatry. Yeah, if I stay in that horrible gaudy room for too long, I start to feel depressed. Is that why you're out here, too? No, I'm here for different reasons. I'm just... 
admiring the flowers. Oh, right, yes. They all seem to be in bloom this time of year. The large yellow ones are especially pretty. No, not those flowers. Those flowers. Gatry, we're inside. There's nothing here but the temple maiden handmaidens. Exactly! It's like a whole new species of girl lives in Benyon. Everyone in this palace is drop dead gorgeous! You know what I mean, Ike? <laughs> Say, which one strikes your fancy? That, that buxom lass with the chest and has not hair is like. Hey, Ike! Ike? Ah, he's still just a boy. Um, Commander Ike. Hmm? Oh, it's you. Are you trying to clear your head as well? Yeah, I guess so. I'm just walking and thinking about things. Benyon is so odd. I don't understand this country at all. I can see that. Everything's so wrapped up in form and tradition, it feels like Benyon has lost track of more important things. You're some noble house's daughter, are you not? What made you decide to become a knight? To escape my royal family. No, not to escape, but to confront it. I want my life to be my own. How do you like being a knight? I am still not satisfied. I may now be a knight, but my hands still shake when I draw my bowstring. So perhaps my goal is not simply to become a knight, perhaps my true goal must become stronger. Commander Ike, the others say that you never give up, no matter how big the fight. That seems like true strength to me. Please, allow me to continue fighting by your side. If I remain with you, I will go stronger from your example. Your skill with the bow is spectacular. How could I possibly refuse your request? We're pleased to have you. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Ah, that was quite a sigh. Huh? Ah, oh, nuts. You heard that, handsome? Sorry about that. You've been behaving oddly lately. Something happened? Pfft, I'm fine. It's just, well, being here in Benyon is difficult, you know? Difficult? You remember the Pegasus night here, weren't you? Aren't you happy to see some of your old friends? No, I'm not happy. It's so blasted embarrassing. I can't bear to face them. Why? What? I told you I resigned my knighthood, haven't I? Yes, you're searching for your brother. It's my brother's fault. I... I... Ah, that... No good, chump bucket. Hmm. Maybe we should just drop it. Huh? Oh, no, it's... Uh, don't worry. I'm fine. Don't let it get to you too much. I don't want you distracted in a fight, alright? Got it. Thanks. I accept brother, too. So why is he so different from my brother? Uh, lazy, do nothing! <laughs> Whew. Okay. Slim lances. I don't think I need any though. All right, so there's a torch staff. What is this? Uh, D rank. Okay. It behaves just like the uh, the regular torch, except well, yeah, it's a staff. Antitoxins might be a good idea to buy here. You know what? I'll get one just for safety. And I'll buy the torch staff just because. Here you go. Let's see. Not yet. I'll figure out what to do with these items later. Right, 60 points. Wait a second. Uh, you know what? No, not yet. Oh yeah, I can show off the uh, the occult scroll. So, like I said, you have to be class changed in order to in order to use this. But this grants any promoted unit their mastery skill. You only get four of these throughout the whole game, though, so use them wisely. For paladins, their mastery skill is soul. Uh, when it activates, you restore HP equal to the damage dealt, which is pretty cool. Lagoos can use occult scrolls right out the gate, and the skills they gain from it will uh, will differ depending on what tribe they belong they are part of. So, beast tribe gets roar, and uh, burning dragon tribes will get different skills too. Quick look at this. Hmm, there are quite a few to pick to pick from here. 
Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, you know what? I've got time to show off a few. I mean, yeah. See what you do. Oh, <laughs> I would love to have a chance to train with a Pegasus Knight. It could only increase my already mighty skills. Oh, here comes one now. Marsha! Huh? <clears throat> I I would have the privilege of... Uh, oh, pardon me. I forgot to introduce myself. My name... I already know who you are. Crimean Royal Knight, Fifth Platoon, Captain Kieran. Did I get that right? How'd you know my name? Not to mention my post. Maybe it was the fame I won during our last battle? No, I was only semi-glorious. Uh... Or perhaps I have injured you and your in your and yours with a past transgression? Are you here to revenge yourself on me? No. Oh, then tales of my valor must have spread to other countries. Perhaps you know of the time I slew the giant spider of No, that's pushing it. But it's possible. Let's see. It's also possible that Hey, me head. But yeah? Ugh. What? Don't scare me like that. We all know your name. You announce yourself every time we fight. I am Crimean Royal Knight, fifth platoon captain Care, and see me and treble. Hmm, well, that explains it. So, how can I help you? Huh? Didn't you want to ask me something? Oh, that's right. Uh, what did I want to ask you? Ah, blast. Was it? No, that's not it. Right, well, you can find me whenever you remember. Shh, this guy's helmet is on too tight. I'll say. How about you two? Oh, it's you? You, Riss? Well, can't be picky, I guess. Yeah, take this weapon, Kerr. Huh? Oh, hello, Mia. What is this? A sword? Uh, yes, I think that's right. It's heavy. Yes, sir. Who would have thought it was going to be you? Funny that. Now, get ready. On guard. Yeah, wait. Stop, please. I don't know what's going on. I can't use weapons. What? Oh, come on. You can use them a little, right? Right? No, I've never even touched one before. But if you just want me to hold it, I can. Hold this end, right? Oh, this is so disappointing. I had my fortune read the other day, and the, and the old crow told me that I'd soon come across my one true foe. With white robes blowing in the breeze, your arch rival right towards you. Oh, I'm so looking forward to it. I'm sorry to disappoint you. I'm pretty sure it's not me. Well, it's not your fault, Riss. I was just prepped for a big fight with my arch rival, and then you came walking by. Thought maybe it was you, you know? Um, I can just stand here and hold the sword if you want to hit it a few times. Nah, forget it. I don't want to get you hurt. I'll give up for today. Shucks! Let's see, one, two. Oh, right, right. I'll have to think about that. Yeah, I'm not really sure what else to... What else to grab as far as uh, prep goes. I'll think about that off screen. See you in the next episode.